Welcome back guys uh, and gals. Um, realizing my audience is not just guys and that's cool. Uh, 2000 Chevrolet Camaro with the big V6. Uh, uh, and We have a host of work we have done and we have a little bit more to do on this. This is a new purchase for the customer. He bought it used somewhere up in Connecticut and he needs a wee bit of work. We've chiseled away a bunch. We have a cracked sway bar uh, and this is one of those that is uh, sorry distraction uh, this is one of those the sway bar is not readily available like some of them are uh, the dealer sway bar is quite expensive they are available miscellaneous places online so I left it up to the customer who is a friend of mine I said you know what you go online you deal with it because sometimes these can be a nightmare uh, you know yeah it's coming it's not coming wait we have to make it first um, and he did deal, did have to deal with that. It was three weeks ago, I think he ordered this thing, and it finally showed up, which is why I didn't want to have to deal with it. So we're going to change it out. It's pretty simple, uh, which is good because I gotta I gotta head out in about 40 minutes. So we're going to see if we can knock this out super quick. Simple enough. Bar's got two brackets, one on either side. The bolts go through, which is kind of neat. So I don't care if I break them. Uh, we can just put nuts and bolts on them. I believe these are welded nuts on this side. But again, if they break, yeah, these are these are welded square nuts. Uh, if they break, not too concerned. The kit comes with new brackets, new hardware. It came with new links, so it's pretty cool. They use this uh, style of sway bar, where it's just a you know round tube. They crush it at the end. They crush it drill a hole in it and what happens is half of it splits and cracks and I think this one's, yeah, this one's cracked right up in here um, so half of it's still holding on half it's not and uh, that's all I gotta say about that Normally I would just cut these things out because it's just easier, but these actually look kind of clean, surprisingly. So we're going to try to see if we can just unbolt them. Try to work around the camera here so you guys can see. You guys got a better reach than I do right now. Once in a while, and actually on bolts, and it's easier than cutting it off. Not too often. Cool. And just so we can see, no, we can't. Hold on, stop shaking the camera. There we go. Just so we can see, there's the crack. Like I said, it's just a pipe. They squish it. They drill a hole in it. I don't even. Yeah, they don't even. They don't even go. They don't even weld the end of it. It's really just kind of a cheesy way to do it. But that's where they all break. If not right here, they crack right across this spot here. But that's it. And just so you guys can see, that right there is the broken part. Neat, huh? Or I should say, cheap, huh?
like that not bad at all we just got to get these stubby parts of the uh, uh, sway ball bushings out the rest of this junk if we are lucky enough you can smack it right out oh look at that oh look at that my lucky day. Huh. Let's see if we're as lucky on the other side. Let's go like that. Guessing these bushings are probably done not too long ago because they came out kind of easy. All right, let's get the new one in. Time's a ticking. All right, quick glance at the new bar. This is the new bar that comes with the bushings and brackets and the end links. The only thing it doesn't come with is the the bolts, but I believe I have some hardware for that, so I'm not too worried. Funny they gave you the washers, but not. They give you the washers for it, but not the bolts. Kind of a weird place to chintz out, but that's all right. Um, let's get her done. All right. All righty. A little bit of nevises in the holes. This is Eric O's favorite stuff. Just kidding. He says he won't come within 20 feet of it. It gets all over. Uh, and I can understand that. You walk away looking like a gold tin man. But I like the stuff. All right. See, look, it's all over my hands now. <laughs> uh, see if I can do this without hitting myself in the head. I found some really cool bolts that I had in stock with the washers on them. Nice, right? Cool when you save some stuff. Yeah, I got these bolts, I believe, from a strut or something like that. Always cool to save them. Got the washers built onto them. Usually a nice grenade bolt. Or the metric equivalent. Before I get roasted. 
We're gonna snug these up, but we're not gonna tighten them until we get the links in. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, throw our links in real quick, and then we'll tighten up the other brackets. Uh, not sure I'm really crazy about these links. I don't like the I don't like the use of the flat washers. I'd rather have those. Uh, where are they? The original. Oh, here they are. These original cupped washers. I kind of like these a little better. They cup the bushing a little better. To prevent the uh, squeeze out. But we'll work with what we have. Unless I go and find the other washers, maybe I'll reuse those. Let's see how these work first. Let's go with a little bushing. Bolt washer bushing. Pay attention to where the shoulder is on the bushing that goes into the hole. Like a so. With a washer. With the spacer. I don't even like the spacer. It's kind of cheap. Doesn't fit the bolt right. Crazy about where the arm fits. Arm is hitting the tie rod end. I don't have it upside down. I don't like the way this fits. Now I just drop the bushing. Hitting the tie rod end. Can you guys see that? It's hitting the tie rod end right there. Now, granted, when the suspension comes up, it won't make it. You know, it'll raise the bar, but it shouldn't even be hitting it now. The other one wasn't. Hmm. Joy, stand by. Let me double check my fitment. closer alright that's kinda of what it looks like part of the problem was I had the wheel turned when you turn the wheel the let me back up when you turn the wheel the it raises the inner tie rod hits the stabilizer bar my thought is that when we compress the I'm hoping that we compress the suspension it should raise that angle up a little bit again this isn't an OE Sway bar, it came from one of these Chevy Camaro websites. I didn't get it, the owner did, because I knew it was going to be an issue. So, we're going to get the other side in, and then we'll uh, we'll tighten this up and crush it down a little bit. And then we'll tighten the inner ones. Alright, other sides together. You'll have to trust me, I didn't want to bore you showing the other side. Same as this side. I'm just going to snug these up a little bit so we don't lose the nut. Sure, have it's going the right way, so I don't rip it apart and set it together. Oh, of course I can't see it. Oh, that's wonderful. Stick it in? Nope. Let's try it this way. They give you this little access hole in the bottom that goes through the control arm, so I really can't get on that nut where I need to be because it's sitting on an angle. We'll leave it at that. Same nonsense. Tighten this down a little. Now let's tighten the brackets up. Alright, 
that's tight. Now, now I'm gonna knock the light all over the place. I know it sounds pretty silly, but when you tighten these down, don't crush these all the way out. I'm sure I'm the first one to say it. You want to kind of snug, get them where they're, they're kind of snug, and then just go a little more. You want them to mushroom just a little bit because you do want this to flex. i got to say, as, as beefy as his arm is, I'm not crazy about it. But I didn't buy it. I'm kind of crushed on the bottom and I'm really crushed in the top. We'll see what it looks like when we put it back on the ground and if I have to I'll make another adjustment. All right let's finish up this uh, oh, this sway bar video. That should have taken five minutes. Um, has now taken way too long for the most part because we're dealing with aftermarket parts. Uh, I left off it was late in the evening Last night when I said we were going to try to let it down and see where this contact point between the sway bar and the, and the tie rod ended up, and it, it just it was too close and it wasn't changing when I put the when I put it back on the ground. I came in this morning. I said, you know what? I took it back down, flipped it over, and it fits like it's supposed to. Plenty of clearance between the tie rod end and the bar. And when I say I flipped it over, and you all, you know, you don't look and go, well, that's ridiculous. Of course it's supposed to go that way. Why don't you see that? Because if you look at the original bar, if I can do this, the original bar has this hump in it. And that's in the middle, and that drops down to clear the hose and the, and the um, transmission lines. And that's why I put it the way I use that as my guide. To say, okay, which end is up, which, which end is down, you know, left to right, that kind of thing. Flipping it over straightens out the ends, but it puts that hump up and it almost hits the lower hose. I'm going to have to put an insulator on that. And it did hit the transmission lines, which I manually manipulated to clear. There's more clearance than it looks like. I, I have a good inch or so in there. Um, I may tweak it a little bit more, which you shouldn't have to. Obviously, it's just an issue that this is a aftermarket bar. And... You know, maybe I'll, no, I'm not going to say it. Maybe a certain company we know made it. No, I'm just kidding. It actually came from a reputable Camaro website. What that's worth. I did change some of the washers on the, on the sway bar, on the, on the link ends, because they were crushing the bushing. And I didn't like it. So I used some of the original washers, um, short of buying a, a whole kit, because I just didn't like the kit that they sent. But it'll work. Um, and that's it. The sway bar is in. It fits like it's supposed to. It's not con contacting the, the tie rod end. Uh, I'll put an insulator around that hose and I'll make sure the transmission lines are clear and that's it. And the bar is in. And it's done. What's the takeaway? What's the takeaway? Buy the OE bar for 400 bucks. Try to save a little bit of money and buy it from a Camaro place and have it not fit. I'm not sure what the takeaway is. This should have been a 10 minute job that I spent way too much time on. Uh, and that's it. Sometimes you eat the bear, sometimes the bear eats you. And that's it. Uh, you got a crack stabilizer bar, which happens all the time. This one's pretty easy. Sometimes they run behind the chassis and they're a pain in the neck to change. This one's pretty easy, if it fit right. That's it, guys. I got work to do. Thanks for stopping in. We'll talk to you soon.